Have you ever noticed that the male pigs seem to grow faster than the female pigs on the farm, even though they are of the same age? Yes, like you could even swear that they are eating the same thing, living in the same pen, but those boys you are seeing are always bigger. That is what I just want to share with you today. So the first thing is, it boils down to the biology of it, how the system is made, and the hormones. So let's start with the hormones first. Like the male pigs, especially those that haven't been castrated yet, have this thing we call the testosterone. It's just the same with we humans as well. So it's like a super muscle building hormone. That is what gives we men the muscles and lets us speak in this our masculine voice. So pigs also have this, but with this, what it does is it helps them build the muscles faster in them. You understand? So this helps them to grow bigger and also pack the muscles faster than the girls, which is the females they have. But note that even the castrated ones, which we call the barrows, they still have a little of the testosterone. And with that, they are also able to grow faster than even the uncastrated one. But I will make a video about the difference between castrated and then the uncastrated ones also. Very soon, there will be a video on that. And then I want us to also talk about the feeding aspects. That is the feed efficiency. Male pigs are like machines when it comes to converting feed into body weight. They eat, they grow, and that is simple. If you have ever wondered, you could see that if a male pig is eating, especially when it is ready to be used for uh, breeding, that male pig when it is eating, it eats aggressively. Uh, at a second, it can bite the feed for like three times. Like that. Have you ever noticed that? All right. So females, on the other hand, are a bit more focused on other things, like preparing their bodies for reproduction. And it's because the females, they always have changes in the system ongoing. Some preparing themselves for the ostrol cycle, so they come in heat, and some also getting themselves prepared for building and releasing a lot of eggs that can be fertilized later. So for the females, a whole lot of changes are going into the system, and they use part of the feed to ensure that all things are in order, and then they stabilize it. I don't know if you're getting it. So that is what usually, before you even let the females uh, breed, you flush them. So the flushing is preparing them with a particular special feed to help them stabilize their system, to release the number of Fs available. And then when the, fem the male comes to them, they're able to produce the right number of piglets you have. So while the boys or the male pigs are here bulking up and eating aggressively, for the females, they are using their energy for reproductive uh, purposes and then also to maintain their system. I'm sure this is making sense to you. And also, let's not forget about their behavior. Male pigs tend to be more aggressive at feeding trough, like I just said. And they will push and even shove to get the most feed. If you put them in group with the females, the males are always in a hurry to finish the, uh, the feed. Except only when they, they want to meet the females. That is when they even try to give space where so the females will even eat some before they can meet them. Other than that, or if the female is not in heat, they're not going to give chance. They try to outsmart them in terms of feeding. And remember, the more they eat, the more they grow for you. So sometimes even the females, they are also picky. You see the feed will be there, all right, but they go to bite it and leave it there. They don't go again. And if you notice something like that, that is why you need to find other supplements to give it to them. Other grasses and also dried cassava and also byproducts, you give it to them because there are some stages they are picky. Not all the feed you put there is what they'll eat. They'll go to smell it and leave it there like that. So if you've got a mix of males and females, you will notice that the males are always dominating in terms of the feeding area. I know now you might also be wondering, is that a bad thing? It's absolutely not a bad thing. It's just how nature works. But as farmers, it is good for us to know so we can manage them better and not to think negative about these behaviors we see in our pigs at some time in their life. So for instance, you might want to separate the boys and then the girls, I mean the males and then the females, during feeding time to make sure everyone gets their fair share of the feed. So if you put females together, they might end up going at the same pace in terms of the feeding and the males too, they'll go there and then start to compete among one another. Right, so don't also forget, even though the males grow faster, the females are what we always have our eyes on. Like they have the superpowers. They are the ones to give us a piglet. I say anytime a female pig is pregnant like this, I pay more attention to the females than the males. They are the site of my mining resources, so I have to ensure that they are always 
in shape and also in order. But for the males, they can go to hell. See these piglets, same mother, same day they were all born, win on the same day. But look at the male and also look at the female now.